Montgomery County deputies and Mount Sterling police have charged five people in connection with the man's murder. Authorities say one of the people actually struck the victim in the head with a hatchet, killing him. And the story doesn't end there. LEX 18's Lee Searcy has all the details in tonight's big story at 6. On September 4th, something gruesome by almost anyone's standards happened inside this home on East Locust Street. Investigators say Linville Josh Smith was struck in the head by a hatchet at the hands of his roommate, Richard McGahey. The alleged motive, a fight over a woman, but investigators are still trying to piece together all the details. This one required some premeditation and as well, and, and it required uh, quite a bit of afterthought in what happened afterwards. What authorities say happened in the days after took place right here behind the home, behind this grill. They say McGahey and four others helped hide Smith's body in a deep freezer, then eventually loaded it up on a vehicle and tossed it over a hill in Menifee County. He was about the same age as my oldest boy. Mark Witt rented the home to Smith and McGay Hay. He says before they moved in the home, he let Smith, who was homeless, stay in a back shed. He tells me he feels guilty about what happened and wants Smith's family to know it. I didn't know such evil person was I was written his house to, and I'm sorry. McGay Hay faces the most serious charge of murder. The other four face tampering with physical evidence and abuse of a corpse. The case caught investigators' attention when Smith disappeared. Both Mount Sterling police and Montgomery County Sheriff's deputies worked around the clock till they found him and the people charged. A team effort. You know, we have to have the ability to go after them wherever they go. Mark Witt has no sympathy for any of the accused, especially McGahey. I hope you rot in hell. In Montgomery County, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.